Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Truly, this is a blessed day that God has made, especially for you and I. Why not rejoice and be glad about it? Amen. Praise God. So that we thank you for tuning in to our broadcast, our special show on this Lord's Day. And this is Bishop W.J. Campbell. Now, I'm thanking God right now for each of you who have taken your time out to watch this very special program. We want to lift you up and tell you that Jesus is Lord. I don't know about you, but Lord, I just thank you for this day. This is my day. I don't claim nothing but the good should come my way on this day. Nothing will stop me. Nothing will block me because my mind is made up. Amen. See, you have to say in your mind right now, and claim it. Claim that what you want to have. This is your day. Nothing can stop you from receiving what God has for you. And know it. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty for this day. Amen. Amen. Listen, you got, to, you got to get yourself in tune to the Spirit of God that dwells within. Amen. Praise God. And we want to enlighten you and tell you that you are somebody. Praise God. Because God didn't make no mess. Hallelujah. Thank God Almighty. Amen. Listen, stop worrying about what's going on, the problem, this and that. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, time's wait for no one. There's so much going on in, in our cities nowadays that you just don't know. Not only here in Detroit, but everywhere. Everywhere. Amen. So we got to stay prayed up in him. Lord, just lift us up. Lord, hear our cry and hear our prayer. Lord, we know that you have all power in the palm of your hand. Let me speak a word this morning that will bless the saints of God. Just tune in. Amen. Lord, I can't do anything by myself, but I know you are the head of my life. Praise God. And Lord, I just want to speak a word today that will encourage someone, that will lift someone up today, to let them know that keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. The race was not given to the strong nor swift. But those that will do it to the end, my God Almighty, i got to talk to you this morning. Why don't you call someone and have them to tune in right now. Amen. My mind is made up. Made up. I'm going all the way with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Listen to me very carefully. I want to sort of slow the pace down right now, but I, my, my spirit is kind of high this morning. Amen. Because of hallelujah. The Spirit of God woke me, shook me, woke me up this morning. Amen. Praise God. You know, sometimes you lay down at night and I have to take a couple of little pills that's supposed to be for this this joint, that problem I'm having my joints, but I know God is able, so it's better than what it was. Amen. So I don't take them every day. I got Jesus. He is the doctor of all doctors. Amen. Praise God. Listen, Saint of God, I, I want to go into the Word of God briefly just for a moment here and so enlighten you on on the goodness of him, amen, that he is awesome, and he certainly can do anything. In the word of God from the book of Luke, the 24th chapter, verse 52 and 53, it says, They that worship him and return to you with great joy, or continue in the temple, praise and blessing God, amen. Hallelujah. I remember in the book of John, I think around about the ninth chapter, amen, in the verse 38, if my memory is correctly, and yes, the verse 38, Jesus told a man's sight that had faith in him. This man, in turn, worshiped Jesus. The Bible said he worshiped him. Praise God. So I just want you to know that whatever the problem that you are having or you're going through right now, God has the answer. He can do it. Amen. But sometimes we get bogged down in that situation and seeing that we're not moving, we're not going anywhere, we just had a standstill. Somebody right now watching this program, you had a standstill. And your mind is troubled because things are not going your way. Stop for a moment. Have you taken time out to praise him and thank him? 
Have you taken time? I said, Lord, I just thank you for what you've already done for me and my family. Have you taken time? I said, Lord, I thank you that I'm able to go to this job each and every day. I have a roof over my head. I have an automobile to drive. I have food to eat. And I have a family that cares about me. You see, in life, as we travel down this journey, you have to take time out just to thank God for the little things. The more you thank him, the more he will give you. So stop worrying. Stop being procrastinating. Stop saying, I can't. Don't let the word can't enter into your vocabulary. Through Christ, the Bible says, all things are possible. Those that believe in him. And I know, but on the shadow of a doubt, I'm not here because of my goodness. I'm here because the Lord has instructed me to come and tell my peoples that I will make a way out of no way for those that believe in him. Amen. And, 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 and you know that down through the years, what he's already done for you. There have been close situations, and you didn't know how the outcome was going to be. Someone even had to go to, uh, to court, amen, and you were frustrated, amen, because you thought that the outcome was going to not be in your favor. But God stepped in and made a way. That same God, now he's no different today than he was just that same God can do it for you. Do you believe that today? Do you believe that God can turn things around for you? Why don't you let him, let him in? Say, Lord, here am I. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. Whatever you want me to do, I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. Somebody saying, Lord, I, I, I just don't know, but I'm ready, Lord. Move the stomach blocks out of my way. Lord, let me think. Let me see clearly than I have been previously. Lord, I, I, I want to, to walk with you, Lord. I, I, I want to, to do what you have instructed me to do. My God, my. when you do that, thanks to God, a whole world will open up for you. Amen. And you'll be able to sit back, see what God has done for me. Praise God. I want to encourage you this week, somebody is that's going through something right now. You know, I was talking to you last on last week. I said those of you that had, had problems or whatever it was, be, amen, God can fix it. And I said just get some salt and just rub it in your hands. Praise God. And those that were spiritual minded understood exactly what to do. Somebody don't. Somebody didn't. Amen. But it's all right. God is still able. And I want to encourage you on this week, whatever problem that you're having, whatever situation that might be going on in your life, I want you to write me a special letter. I, I, I just want you to write a letter this week and tell me, tell me the problem that you're having. And I want to take it and place it on the high altar. And I want to pray a prayer of faith that the Lord your God will hear your cry and come and see about you. The Bible says the prayer of right the much. Today, today. I want you to go and get a pen and paper because you could, will see the mail address on the screen. But I urge you today, don't wait, don't procrastinate. If you desire things to change in your life, write me this week. For the Spirit of the Lord has instructed me to send you the car blessing. Somebody saying, what is a car blessing? Well, I tell you this. Every automobile I have owned, I've always had a little card, and I put it in the dashboard, stick it in the dashboard. There's a prayer of protection. There's a prayer that will get you going where you're going and bring you safely back home. 
Because the way these folks are driving nowadays, honey, you better have something that will going to protect you because they don't care. They speed up down the streets, amen, the highway and everything else, you better move aside. Amen. So I, I, I want to send you the, the compliments that will help you and protect your automobile. That's what I want to send back to you. And as a contact, the Holy Spirit is going to prevail therein. There's going to be a seal of protection around the automobile. Somebody said, I, I don't have no automobile, but still send for the car blessing. And go to go window shopping. You see an automobile, claim it. Claim it. Say, Lord, give it to me. See, sometimes when you want something, you got to go and claim it. Put it out there in the universe. Thoughts of things. The Bible says, so is the man thinking, so is he. Uh, when you think you can receive it, you will receive it. If you think you can't receive it, ain't nothing going to happen. You be saying, oh, Lord, what happened? Your thoughts was not in the right frame of mind, first of all. You got to put all that, that doubt out. Don't worry about what others might say. Think about yourself. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Amen. Praise God. God bless Peter. God bless David. God bless Abraham. God bless Moses. And God bless the children of Israel. Amen. We are living in the 21st century. Things are not like they used to be. You got to change your mind. You got to change your thought. I am a child of the Most High. In God I live. In God I have my very being. God wants to help you. God want to put you on that right road to recovery. God want to bless your finance. God want to bless you going in, going out, and coming in. I can't do it, but God can. Let your mind be in Christ, in Christ in you. Amen. Praise God. I got to talk to somebody today that's, that's frustrated. Everything is happening. Write me that letter. And I want to take that letter and place it on the house and send you the car blessing. That it will be a blessing to those of you. Now, I'm asking that you send in a financial donation now. Now, you know, this donation to help us maintain our upkeep on our broadcast so I can be still coming and tell you what thus said the Lord. And the only way that you can receive this is to write me. Get the pen and paper in hand, praise God, and You'll see exactly what I mean. We're going to take a little station break for a moment. And I'm going to come right back and tell you, and tell you more about the goodness of God. Don't go away. Stick and stay. And I'll be right back. God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is in the midst. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Listen. Do it now. Don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, you also can watch our TV broadcast uh, Channel scan. We are now completed, and they are on channel on regular TV, fifteen point one. And you can see this broadcast, and we're still on Comcast ninety. That means all of you that got regular TV, you can watch this every Wednesday morning at nine a.m. Um, that's on regular TV, fifteen point one. On your regular TV dial. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Listen, I don't know about you, but I'm claiming today I'm going to have victory. Whatever my mind is set, amen, when I get back in my car, I'm going to look at that prayer of the car blessing and ask God to open that door. Praise God. 
Amen. Listen, see, many of you are watching. God speaks to your mind. He gives you thoughts. He gives you dreams. And most of the time, we are not in tune. We let those things pass us by. Then we wonder, oh, what, what was I thinking about? Always follow your first thought, the first thing to enter into your mind. You are a child of the Most High, and God wants to give you the, your heart's desire. What are some of the things that you desire? We're, we're, we're coming close to the end of the year. Amen. And we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our heat bill is going to be going up. Praise God. And if you don't, can't pay it, you're going to be in trouble. So why not prepare yourself now? Don't wait until it gets too late. Repair yourself now. Put a little, little hush my money aside. Say, I'm going to put this aside for when I get in tight. I will have a little extra money to do some things to keep things moving. So you got to think. If you don't think, you are in trouble. Praise God. Amen. And, and, and that's what it's all about. You have to be persistent. You have to stay in the race. You have to know that it, it's just a temporary situation. God can change it in a twinkle of an eye. Amen. In the 23rd of your psalm, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. Praise God. God does not want us to turn to want for anything. Amen. And so, well, what are you waiting on? Amen. Do you want things to get better or you want to stay just as they are? I don't know about you, but I, I, I'm going to... Make sure that things are going to change in my life. Amen. So why not you? Let us make up in the mind today. Say today, whatever you're going to do. You're sitting back drinking your coffee right now. You, amen. Praise God. And I had a cup of coffee this early this morning. Praise God. It, praise the Lord. It, it, when I had to get that coffee in the morning time. It sort of wakes me up. Praise God. Amen. Remember, the Word of God is a treasure map to all of the hidden treasures that you desire. And remember, thoughts are things. When your thoughts are not in tune with the Word of God, you miss out on your blessings. Today is the day that God has made. So why not say right now, this is my day. Nothing will stop me. Nothing will block me. I'm a child of the Most High. And God wants to move me up today. I'm going to let anything confuse me or trouble my mind. I will not let the devil defeat me. This is my day. I claim it. I accept it. And God is going to do exactly what he said. Today is my day. Say that right now. Today is my day. Amen. Today is my day. Today is my day. Because God has made it special for me in mind. Praise God. And I know what God's going to do because I'm going to be going forward in his word. Amen. That's simple. Follow. Follow. A lot of times, you know, a lot of uh, saints of God uh, have dreams and things that God has given them. And they don't follow through with it. When they don't follow through with that, that means that they leave out or miss out on a great opportunity that God had for you, and you did not take the initiative to go forward with it. So remember, when you dream, dreams do come true. Today, today. To date, let this be the day. It's the thing is turning around right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I will not let anything hinder me or hold me back today. I will let no one confuse my mind. No one would cause me to not be able to think a positive way. I am a child of the Most High. You got to claim this. You got to say this. You got to know this. You got to put it out, send it forth, amen. Words have power. So, so, so hey, what am I thinking about? What am I waiting for? Amen. I've been down before. God 
pick me up and turn me around and plant my feet on a solid ground. This is the day that he has made. Wake up and re rejoice. Wake up and with fresh thoughts on your mind. Amen. Praise God. I've hit stumbling blocks. I've hit setbacks. But God removed that. Praise God. And you've got to be firm. You've got to be firm. You've got to, be firm. You got to stand firm. Amen. You've got to say it over and over. I am a blessed child of the Most High. I know beyond a shadow of doubt that God loved me. He made me in his own image. Amen. Praise God. God knows what's happening. God knows what's going on. And believe it. He's going to fix it for you. Just like all these things going on in the streets, all these shootings and different things. Amen. People losing their lives over nothing. Let us keep praying. Let us keep praying. And ask God to bless his people. Protect them from all harms and dangers. And if we do that, everything will be all right. See, we got, we got to put that cover back over us that we would be protected. Praise God. Don't forget to write me. Write me now. Amen. And that's Bishop W.J. And that's P.O. Box 21113, Detroit, Michigan. Zip 48221. Amen. Oh, you can call 313-861-385-3856. Praise God. Listen, it's right there on the screen. If you, amen, praise God. And I'm, so, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, the, today, today I just feel excited. I just feel that, 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 that whatever I touch is going to work in my behalf. Amen. Amen. God have anointed me to tell you about his goodness. It's waiting on you. And see, Anything good, anything good, you got to make a move. You can't just sit there, amen. I'm going to be, uh, next week I'm going to be telling about our harvest festival feast that be coming up in the month of October, amen. I don't have the, 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 the date uh, with me, so I, don't, I, I know it's next month. And I know it's the, I think it's the first Friday in October, praise God. But anyway, I, I'll be telling you about it next week. And I, I want you to come, and every Sunday morning at 11, 30 a.m., we'll be in our service at Divine Deliverance telling you about the goodness of God. Now, someone might say, I, I don't have a church home, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just at home. But listen, you got to get up and go where there's a group of people on the same path praying to our Heavenly Father. And once you do that, God will certainly do great things for you. you. You're listening, you're watching, and you're saying, hmm, I don't know. Well, why not check it out? You don't have to come to Divine Deliverance. You can go to, just go to any church. Amen. Sometimes when you do that, things will change in your life. That's why a lot of you are having so much chaos, so much confusion at home and your surroundings. So you got sometimes you gotta change the direction that you're going and watch and see. God is looking for soldiers. God is looking for soldiers. Why not you? You know what you've done already in your life. But some kind of way you got disconnected. Why not get connected? back connected with him. That's all I'm saying. I didn't come to preach to you by no how I look, doctor, this and that, amen. God can do anything. Whatever my problem, I put in God's hand and keep it moving. Amen. And I know we're going to shout down if you be obedient, write me this week. Just write. I didn't ask you what type of dose it's in. You, you know what to send. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. So if you're not going to a, a donate a, a gift or anything, then you're not going to see the good that God has for you. The Bible lets you know, uh, freely a gift, freely that I shall receive. And I urge you right now, search your heart. If watching this program have inspired you or uplift you, why don't you still write me a letter? Tell me. Amen. 
And I believe from the depth of my heart that my God, my God, my God, is going to do something awesome for you that believe in him. And you owe it to yourself. You can stay as you are, keep doing what you're doing, or you can make a change. Regardless of what truth may be, if I were you, and you want the good things, I will make a change. Don't forget, you can watch our program every Wednesday on one, on 15.1, our regular TV. Look like time is winding down, and I want to let you know that I love each of you from letting me come into your homes on this Wednesday morning. Just to tell you, God is able, God is able to do it for you. Why don't you make up in your mind right now, this day I'm not going to let nothing hinder me, nothing will block me, nothing will confuse me, because God is going to do something awesome for me. And I'm ready to receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God Almighty. I am ready. Say these words. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Praise the Lord. If you're ready now, watch. Watch and see. I want to send you the car blessing. Carry it with you in your automobile. That it will be a blessing. Amen. Because you see all the accidents going on. Praise God. Amen. I think I'll put another one in my automobile. Praise the Lord. Listen, saints of God. Don't forget to write in this week. Amen. And we will see you next time. In the meantime, we love you. And we're praying for you that God is Lord. And he is impossible because he got all power in the palm of his hand. Well, now, it looks like I got to move on now. May the Lord bless you. May he go before you this day and may ease and success your way. He can do it and he will do it for you. I love you, and I'm praying for you.